Check out this cool light that I got off of Amazon. You can change the colors in the back. So can you see, I don't know, can you see that emitting a little bit maybe? You can change it to leaves, to water. That doesn't really look like water, that looks purple. And it'll, it'll rotate through colors, so check this out. I can make it go faster or slower, huh? See me emitting green. Look at that, it's kind of a cool little, see that? Focus, focus, look at that little remote. It's kind of cool, and then you can just click that and then it's, it's white again, so. So it says on the box that this, this light can change 120 different colors. So there's a, there's a color wheel at the bottom. See the color wheel? Ah, there we go. So you can kind of change the temperature of uh, each color. Should we try the, should we try the green? Green's fun. Okay, so we gotta we gotta talk about the Smooth Four. Um, <clears throat> I, I hate, you know, ragging on products. Uh, well, sometimes, but I particularly had a problem with the Smooth Four. So I've got to give you a little bit of the backstory. I I was sitting at home. My wife came inside and she said, "Hey, I found the mobile gimbal I want." And she's been looking for a long time. We've been looking for one for a long time to use for for family filming, because you always have your your phone, but it's never very smooth footage. So I'm sitting at home and she walks in, she says, I found, I found the perfect gimbal. It's the best. I seen it and I want it. I said, okay, let me, let me look into it. We'll find out if it's a good product or not because I, I want to research this thing and, and I dive pretty deep into my research on stuff. And the first thing I do is I, I type in best mobile uh, gimbal, all right? G G not G-Y, gimbal. So I type in best mobile gimbal. So if you go to any of these, any of these sites, um, this Zion Smooth 4, Zion, 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 I don't know. You go to any of these sites and it'll tell you. So you scroll down, you click on one of the very first links and uh, it, it shows that their top pick is the Zion Smooth 4. And I found that over and over. I kept looking at different lists. They would show this is their top one. I said, okay, so this, this must be an okay gimbal. And this, this was at the top of so many lists. I, I, I looked forever and this is always, if not the top one, in the top three. So I, I go to their website. I go to Zion's website and I pull up the Smooth 4. And I start going down through the specs and I think, okay, this is, this is looking pretty good. This is a quality product and everyone's endorsing it. Let's buy it. So we buy it. It comes to our house while I'm at work and I get a call from my wife and she says, Hey, the, uh, the, the gimbal's not working. And I said, okay, uh, what are you using it on? She goes, I'm using it on my iPhone. And I said, that's, that's, that's strange. I go, it should work. So my wife's using an iPhone 11. I'm using a Note 9. Uh, these are two relatively new phones. In fact, the iPhone 11 is the newest version of the iPhone out right now, and my Note 9 is only one generation old. Two different complete platforms, very uh, new phones. So before we send anything back, I, I jump online and I type in that the Smooth 4 isn't working. And one of the fixes, one of the very common fixes, was to just upgrade the firmware on your Smooth 4. So I actually made a video about that right here. And it worked, the firmware went through great, and sure enough, my Smooth 4 was out of date. So I thought, it'll work now. Threw it back in, didn't work on my phone. Didn't work on the iPhone. Uh, so I, I spent some more time online and a lot of people are saying that this top rated gimbal is supposed to be uh, the best gimbal out there and it's not working. It's not working for all these people and yet it's it's the best one out there. It's the top of all your all these sites. It's the top of all these articles. When people are Googling what to get, this is what's coming up. And so people are buying it and that's not working. Okay, so where do we go from here? I jump on Zion's website and I say, you know, I'm going to send these guys uh, an email. This is what I got back. Hello, your smartphone is not in Z app fit list. Fit, fit list? What the heck is a fit list? I don't know. So that's what I get back. And then everything else is in Chinese. So scrolling down, I reply back and I say, do you know if those phones will soon or ever be compatible? Because I told them which phones we were using. 
and they said they weren't compatible with it, these, these brand new top of the line phones. And they replied and said, there is not such info from tech department at present. Only can wait for the tech department. Thanks. So Zion, you can do the right thing right now. You can get in touch with me and make this right. I will, I will take back what I say. I, if you guys can fix this, we'll, we'll make amends here. But they didn't fix anything. They just said that my phone wasn't compatible. But here we are, their website. This is their official Smooth 4 page. Always powerful and compatible with all phones. Compatible with all phones. The biggest problem here is I can't even use it without the app. My phone and the iPhone, they don't work on this gimbal without the app. You can't simply use the gimbal functions. It has to be connected to the app or it won't work. And apparently our phones aren't on the list. Searching a little bit more, I came across this GearBest website. You slide down, Android smartphones with Zion Smooth 4 compatible with, boom. Samsung, where's the Note 9? Not there. Where's the S10? Not there. Let's go down to the I, uh, iPhones here. iPhone, uh, let's see, iPhone 10. You got the iPhone 10. Uh, iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max. No iPhone 11. No iPhone 11. Okay, so here, here's my problem, you know, if I haven't made it clear already. You're, for one, okay, first problem, you're getting an advertisement. People, people are going in and saying, what is the best gimbal? I want the best gimbal out there. And they're, they're finding that the Smooth 4 is the top of all these lists. This is the best one you can buy. So people are buying it. And they're advertising that it's compatible with all phones. They're, any phone it's compatible with. You know, if you're, if you're on that compatible list that I just showed you, if you're on this list right here and you, you want the best of the best, the Smooth 4 is apparently the best of the best. I wouldn't know, I haven't been able to test it, but apparently that's the, the best one. So if you're on that list, go ahead and, and, and get it. But you, you gotta ask yourselves, you know, if I'm gonna upgrade my phone relatively soon, uh, do I know if these guys are gonna upgrade the software so it's gonna be working? Probably, probably not. Uh, is their customer service great? Mm, not really, no. So you just, you have to ask yourself if you want to be uh, buying a product that doesn't stay up to date with the most up-to-date phones. If they're not keeping up to date with the latest phones coming out, are, are, is, that, is that a product you want to own? I don't know, you know, that's a choice you got to make, but probably not. You, you want to stick with something that they're going to be on the cutting edge. The second something comes out, they're upgrading their firmware, they're changing the software, they're making improvements. Uh, when somebody says, hey, I'm using a, a phone that's uh, one generation old and it's still not new enough, or sorry, it's still not old enough to be used on your platform, then what are we doing here, you guys? Okay, so with that all said, Zion, you can reach out to me. We can, we can make this right. You can fix this problem. If any of you guys know something I don't, leave it in the comments, let me know. But I'm gonna show you next week what I ended up opting for. And I, I think it's even better than the Smooth 4. I really do. I think the, the setup that I've got is the ultimate mobile filming setup. So if you do a lot of mobile filming, stay tuned and we'll show that to you next week.